Guys, this is a, um, well, I'm going to attempt a review on my uh, radio. I've had it for a couple of months now, and um, I thought, well, why not? I'll give it a go. <laughs> you know, so um, this is what I got. I bought it from Halfords a little while ago. Uh, I think it was just before Christmas. And, um, yeah, it's a cracking radio. This is what it looks like in my um, my uh, C-Max. It would probably look the same or very similar in a Mark II Focus. But it's brilliant. Um, you don't get a remote or anything. It's just uh, the head unit. You get the microphone which is here, and, well, I decided to put it there. And, um, well, that's it, really, and you get their own lead as well to wire this up to your car, obviously. Um, but, yeah, this is it. So, um, if I put the ignition on, you better see it on. So, there we go. And just wait. There you go. Okay. Yeah, so this is, uh, we're on radio at the moment, obviously. Uh, sound quality is really good. It's uh, 50 watts each channel, so it's a four-channel radio, so 50 watts a side. Brilliant. Okay, but um, obviously, oh mate, I don't know where to start to be honest. You got the jet button for a CD player, but who uses a CD, right? <laughs> I don't. Um, yeah, you got your USB port here, which you can open up. Yeah, uh, you got an aux port there where you play music on your phone and you set this to aux mode and it will play whatever your phone's playing through it. It's really good. Uh, if you um, had your phone connected through Bluetooth, you'd answer the calls and end them by pushing this button. But I um, don't really, know, really know what to show you guys. We're on radio, so if we, you've got this word band here and you can pick what wave you want to go to. So FM2, FM3, medium wave, yeah back here again all these are like your preset channels so you could save all your radio stations yeah so like fm1 so number one is 100 which is a kiss all right um you can see it's changing color you can change that if you don't like the colors it's changing to you can pick a color okay um if um you went into the you want to know you want to switch to different devices i've got a pen drive here if i put this in here Straight away, it's gone straight to USB. Yeah, and it remembers where you left off. Even if you take the pen drive out, it seems to remember. The little track info comes up. Yeah, so um, obviously volume. Now, so we're not, this is quite a bit, but this is a 32 gig pen drive, right? So say you, you wanted to find a particular album, if, you, if you're a guy who likes to put albums in the car, you can push this little um, magnifying glass here, just push this here, and do this. Right now, this is like browsing the pen drive, so we can now see what we're looking for. So look, see so, like, so like, you click on anything you like, CD two. Uh, one thing that does help, if you noticed, it looks really difficult. I mean, to you guys, you might not know what album this is because it only shows you a little bit, and then it swivels. Best thing to do is just to make it smaller in the uh, when you go on when you put them on the pen drive on the computer. Right. It's working. Uh, well, that's how you would browse that. Um, it's iPod available as well. You can put your iPod in and your, it'll read your iPod. I'm not really an iPod man. I'm more into um, my Android phones, really. I don't tend to muck around with um, <laughs> iPods. But this free, go. Right, which is good. Um, well, yeah, if you was to be playing, um, have you heard of a thing on Pine called Mix Tracks? I'm sure you might have heard of it. It's like um, it's like a mode you can set on your radio and it makes it sing and dance, like all the lights flash different colours and they go to the beat. I mean, I don't know if you guys know this, if you know this song. But where it says the word mix, it only works with the pen drive, by the way. It doesn't work with aux. So if, you, if you're an aux guy, it doesn't work. I don't know if it works with iPod. It should do. But if you push mix. Okay, you can set it to flash to low pass or high pass. Yeah, it looks brilliant at night. You can pick what colour pattern you want too. I 
Um, what it does also is it cuts the song down a minute. So it'll play like a minute of one song, it'll mix it in with another song. So it doesn't really go quiet in the car, it's constantly playing something. Um, if you don't want it to play a minute, you want to play the whole song or more, you can adjust it. I have seen how to do it. Because some of my songs takes like a... See that? Because some of my songs take over a minute for, you know, the beat to drop. And it's funny, I had a car full of friends, they're all out like, ready, 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 waiting for it, waiting for it. And then suddenly it mixes it away. We're like, no! Yeah, but um, that's mixed tracks. You can change the setting, I will show you. I don't think it um, changes like the way it sounds either, to be honest. So on the, uh, over here you've got display. So like if you wanted to know a bit more or whatever, yeah. file info. Elapsed time. Oh, come on. See? Clock, I haven't set this clock by the way, so. But it thinks that's the time, fair enough. It's actually just gone past eight in the morning. Let's keep pushing display really. Then you track track info. Yeah? Whatever is your taste really. But that's a pen drive and um I haven't noticed a maximum capacity pen drive it can read. Like I was I didn't know whether it could only read a four gig, an eight gig. Well I got this originally was it's a thirty two and it seems to be working it fine. And upon with it, I don't have an aux cable with me, guys. But trust me, plug that in and come back over here again. And you'll see the word aux. And now, pretty much, that will play whatever you put through it. But we haven't got an aux cable fitted, so we're not going to hit anything. Okay, so um, let's push this again. Another input, click on that. Bluetooth, now this is really easy, this is brilliant. I've got an Android phone, and um, I can play my music through Bluetooth on here. It's, I can't really show you because I've got, I'm using my phone to record this video, but um, it's so easy to connect. Um, seriously, you just turn it, get on your phone, and go to add a device, or as you're gonna connect to one, really, so go to your settings. Uh, you ain't even gotta click headset, because it just plays your audio through your car, and it uses the microphone as well, which, um, was good. I only I used it yesterday for the first time. It was brilliant. <laughs> All right. Tuna. So we're back to the old radio. Now, if you want to look at some of the settings, right? So if we push this in, comes up. Audio. Okay. So we want that, don't we? So push it in again. You got your balance. So you guys know that works. Right. Or left. Or back. In Q settings, so you can have powerful. See, vocal. Custom, you can add your own. Right, if you click on it, you can pick how many hertz you want. I don't really use that. I get plenty from just the, the Pioneer standard ones. Super bass. Yeah, so back. Because the way you save it, you don't push anything, you just go back and it remembers it. Loudness. Uh, I've had like two other radios before this one, they've all had loudness. I've always had it on. Uh, subwoofer, now you might want it off. You've got normal and you've got, I think this means reverse, I think. Um, never understood that because it still works, so I've just always kept it on normal. Alright, um. Subwoofer, like if you wanted to set its frequencies or you want them. This can give you a lot more bass. I'm sorry guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know what all of it does, but just turn it up and play a song and you'll see what it does. You certainly will hear it. Uh, bass boost, that's only over the doors though, that's not with the woofer. The woofer's totally separate. You're better off doing it on your amp really, other than your head. Um, this is like for your channels if you want them, if you want to turn the frequency up or you want them down. Uh, that one again seems to make it a little bit more tinny, if you like. Uh, fader, right front to rear. Bad, bad, So back again, and you go along another one. Illumination, and this is like your colours, your screen. So if you wanted to change the key colour, which is all this, forget the screen, push this. 
scan is where it goes through all the colours, like it's doing, it's slowly going through them all. If you didn't want that and you wanted a particular colour, just move along one, so it says warm, ambient, calm, see this is all the different colours you have, it's, it's really good. Because I had an, an old Pioneer radio, I think it was a 5600BT. And it, it had colours, but I think it only had like four or five colours. It didn't have half as many as these. You guys can see all this. Oh yeah, I really fancy a Chinese. Eight in the morning, yeah. <laughs> Some of the crap on radio, but yeah, we've gone through all the colours. So, so if you want an ambient, push the button, or there you go. Uh, you go along, and I've only got display colour. So, again, that's on scan, so it's going through the colours. So, you can go along either bit, any way you like. You can go back if you want. So, you get the same colours for the key as what you get on your screen. All the same colours really. You can do both colours, so if you want them both the same colour, like you might want them both ambient, you can you can do that. Phone colour, like when you get a phone call, this is what it looks like when um, you get a phone call come in. I only found that out yesterday when I was driving, I was like, what the hell is that? Uh -huh. You can have a flash, you can pick what flash pattern you want, look. Flash one, flash two, three. Yeah. Dimmer, you want it to dim, I don't. Yeah, and that's all of them. Back to key colour again. So we go along again. System, so this is like your Bluetooth audio if you want it on. Well, it was already on when I got it, I didn't have to manually set it on. Power save, I left off. Uh, I won't bother that, that's like your Bluetooth connectors. Like how many uh, Bluetooth devices you've had connected. Um, you can clear it if you want. I think it only has a maximum like three or four, it remembers. And your Bluetooth version, I won't bother with that. People say you can download firmware, but I've never had to. Uh, language, obviously. Clock set. Well, I need to do that. Because <laughs> it seems to think it's 22 past four in the morning. Uh, 12 hour or 24 hour, guys. Info display. So you might want subpoena. Uh, level meter. See a source. Clock. This is like when you're playing music, you can like pick what you want underneath. Oh, I'll have to show you. Aux on. Last oh, I never had to turn it out on. Now mix tracks, it tells you the flash area you let you pick. So you can have key and display, or you just want key, or you want it off. I've got on both. I never touched it. But your flash pattern, you can change that. Like whether you what sound level you want it to react with. Best way to do this is to put your pen drive in, play some music and hit mix tracks and then come back here while it's blinking. So when you change it, it will change so you can see it. Because right now you can't see what, you know, what sort of colours or patterns it would use. Uh, display effects, you want that on. Cutting effects, that's good. Short player, and this is what caught me out. Because it only normally plays a minute. You can pick, you can do the one and a half minutes, two minutes, so and so, so and so. Yeah, I mean, some people might only want, you know, a minute and a half of their song. But I like drum and bass, and by the time it's just about to drop, it cuts off. It's like, oh, okay. Function, now region, you know, local, like what your old radios do. Yeah, right. back to audio again. Yeah, this is it. Um, so you push that again, go to USB. Wait, the neighbors. Uh, but yeah, like these really big buttons here are your next song, and that we can't miss them really. So it's really yeah. so that's track three, and we go track two. Uh, CD, really good, but I'm on that, it's a really easy radio, it really is, but the best thing you guys can do really is just fit it in your car with all your sub, or if you ain't got a sub, just wire it up, yeah, get some good tunes, like variable music, 
and just go and sit somewhere, you know, and just play with it. That's all I did. Sit outside your house or whatever. Just play with the settings. You will hear a difference. But they're so easy and they're so easily customizable. It's brilliant. You know, and I can play music from your phone on it. It doesn't affect it if you, like, if you get a phone call. But yeah, man, this is it. So you can go mix tracks. So I'll show you real quick. Go to the settings, mix tracks, flash pan. No. So let's see, see, it's changing now. Since we've got music playing, I'll hit mix tracks first. So you got like a sound level and you've got low pass. So if you have like music playing, another thing, right, if you've got mixed tracks on and you want to skip it early, if you can hear that, hopefully you can. Next song. There, it's just mixed up the next song straight up to it. Hopefully you heard that. I mean, I don't know if like this helps. You got play and pause there. Just push it. Yeah, pause. Push it again for play. You can see all these little icons here. But first, I didn't know where mix tracks was until I just sat there and stared at. It. I was like, "Where did he go?" Because my old radio had a separate mix tracks button. But yeah, it's got RCAs on the back, which is handy. You can add um, your amp from your sub on it. Uh, it's got two little ports because in case you guys don't want one of these uh, you need the lead for that I haven't got mine um, not gonna lie, I didn't have the money at the time I installed this because I bought this at the time um, but yeah you need like a, um, a kit for it one that looks very similar to this and I got this from Alfred's as well it's apparently a resistive module it's brilliant I never had a problem with it but this one made to fit my old radio for my old car well it probably would fit this radio but it won't fit this car because this was for a Mark 1 ST and it won't fit in this car. But, yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. But yeah, you can get the leaf for that from Halfords. I think it's quite expensive at Halfords, really. So your best bet, probably eBay. Depends if money's an issue. Might not be. So, um, but yeah, other than that, radio is brilliant. I love it to bits. I've had um, plenty of radios all the time. When I first got my first car, I had a Sony radio in it. And it just started, it just packed up. And the settings wasn't as interesting as this one. And it was a single D and it just didn't, quite have all the effects this one does and all the interest this one does because this makes you look twice but at night it lights the car up when you put mixed tracks on it's just flashing away down the motorway it's like ooh, can put you off for a little bit until you get used to it but hopefully this has helped you guys like understand and you know just so you can see it really i've never done this before so you have to bear with me but thank you very much for watching and um hope this helps you guys but yes definitely get one they're really good really easy to use better than that dvd rubbish you know nice touch screen Ugh. Don't like all this touch screen, but this one is not touch screen and it doesn't do anything. Alright, but thanks for watching. Take care guys.